Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Coco Echella for those of you that don't know and you have just stumbled across my video and if you are a returning viewer and subscriber then welcome back my lovely. In today's video I'm going to show you how I achieved this look today so if you guys want to know how to get cow print with an alternative gothic look and please keep on watching. So as you guys can see I have already done my hair. I am just chilling right now in my Halloween Kill Star pajamas. I'm not sure they still sell them. They might. I did get this like a few seasons ago, but they have something similar, which I have my eye on. So if you're looking for something like that, go check that out. But yeah, I am actually, I'm actually nervous. <laughs> I'm actually nervous because I have not done a look like this ever. And I am just hoping it turns out well. So let's get my bits and pieces out all my well most of my eye makeup brushes are also from jolie beauty they do need a good clean mind you they they do need a good clean anyway so let's just start off by combing the eyebrow hairs getting that all in the direction i want it to go i actually shaved my eyebrows tail off tail off and i tried to do a little slit here just to make my life a little bit easier so <laughs> With me, right, I never do things half measure. Like, I do something that I've never done before and then complain that I'm scared and anxious, but we move. Um, so what I actually want to do is I want to make this devil brow a cow print and then I'll leave the rest black. So in fact, what I'll do is I'll do the easy part first and then, you know, we'll come back into doing the crazy stuff. We've got the easy eyebrow done. We're going to move on to the hard part. <laughs> I'm going to trace out where I want to fill in with the white. So I come in like that. I usually like to make it just a little bit thicker. Just so that when I'm concealing it, I can essentially correct it and make it neater and it gives me room to do that. Where is that lid gone? Am I sitting on it? Yes, yes of course, I'm sitting on it. So I'm going to take my Jolie Beauty Water Activated Eyeliner Palette and I'm going to take my Urban Decay Setting Spray and I'm just going to spray that directly into the white here. Swan Squirt is blendy. So these are the brushes. I can't remember if they came with it or they were bought separately. I actually genuinely can't remember, but these are the brushes. So they're quite fine. The top, if you can see that. And I like to let it marinate. You know, you've got to let it season. So just mix it around there until I get an ample amount on my brush. And let's just fill in this. Okay, we're coming along. That is pretty much that. This is where we're at so far. And it's quite pigmented. So as you can see, I didn't even conceal all my eyebrows, anything like that. I do have quite thin eyebrows. I don't know if you saw that at the start, but I have thin, thin-ish eyebrows. I have eyebrows, but they're not that bushy. So if you do have thicker eyebrows, hmm, jealous. If you do have thicker eyebrows, I would suggest um, probably putting a concealer over it in a base so that it hides the majority of it especially if you have like dark hairs if you have blonde hairs you're good to go <laughs> so i just want to do the underneath and the actual slit itself cool you're probably going to hear me say that a lot through this cool great fine okay sure <laughs> right so i'm going to go back in with my urban decay and now that this part is sort of dried a little bit i can move in onto the black let that marinate let it 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 marinate okay cool so now that that's done i'm just going to go into the the black here Sit around all lovely jubbly right let's start doing this this print The good thing about cow print is that it doesn't have to be incredibly neat. 
it's not like little circles you have to draw so you kind of can just let the brush do its thing and make it wibbly wobbly I think just one tiny lodge there. Okay, this is what we've got so far. Now I'm just going to take my Maybelline Hyper Precise all day liner and I'm just going to go around the outside of my brow like this. Oh, now we just need to wait for that to dry a little bit. Not sure I'm going to be able to blend out the white, but let's give it. Okay, it's just going to chip it. Okay, we'll do that with eyeshadow. We will do that with eyeshadow. Sorceress palette by Jolie Beauty as well. And as you can tell, I actually adore this brand. And I'm going to go in with Snow Moon just to blend out my brows a little bit. I'm just going to pop that in there okay that looks better now okay now we don't look so harsh so i just use my same la girl concealer just all over the lid i do want to add like a little twist to this to this look because basically i want to add a purple behind it just to match the purple i got going on here i know the majority of my hair is red but i do love a good purple i think i'm gonna go with Hallows Eve here. As you can see, I've used that purple quite a bit. I do love it. I do love a deep purple. So what I want to do is I just want to apply that just up here. Just want to give it like some background. You know, it's cow print. Make it goth. I'm gonna keep applying that there and blending it out the best that a non-makeup artist can. Okay, so this is what we've got so far. Now what I'm going to do is take my concealer again and just essentially carve out where I want where I want it to go. I've got quite hooded eyes, I like to just make sure I'm carving out just enough. Right, so then I'm just gonna go back in with this and just blend that in. Right, then I just want to set that with a little bit, just a cheeky bit of powder, a cheeky bit of powder. So this is where the fun comes in. So we're going to go back in again with Jolie Beauty and just, we need quite a bit this time. Oh, hunger pains, because we need to cover the whole lid with this. The whole lid. I'm just going to start gradually. we got some room to play with. But we're not going to just leave it with the, the white liner. We're going to make sure to set it with white eyeshadow. Okay, so this is where we're at. And my eye feels so weird right now. It feels, like, it feels cold. That's what it feels like. It just feels cold. Okay, so I went and did the other side. Just letting it dry because it just feels weird on my lid. See, this lid feels fine now that it's dry, but it's like waiting for this one to dry. Your eyelid just feels like, I don't know, it just feels like someone's got an ice cube to your eye. It's a funny sensation. Really wish I cleaned my brushes before I did this because we're working with white. So I'm just going in with Snow Moon all over the lid just to set it. The joys of having hooded lids. It's slightly cracking this is what we got going on so far like we're looking now that that part is done we are going to go in with black again just going to get my setting spray thankfully we don't need as much black and uh, start doing our cow print so wherever it's cracking i'm just going to go over to try and and seal that <laughs> this is where we are at move on to the other side i'm just letting the brush just go anywhere really no method to my madness currently <laughs> Looking a bit cowy. We're looking a bit cowy. You silly cow. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm just going back in again with the black and I'm gonna outline it. Right. 
we probably need just a little bit more the good thing about this is it actually dries quite quickly so if you do your makeup and then you're on your way out somewhere and you're taking your makeup with you like you're going for a stay or something this dries quickly so there's it's not gonna like run I just want my line a little bit thicker that's the first one we've got so far and let's move on to the left one That one went on a lot quicker. Now I just need to put my actual liner on, but I'm going to keep with this one instead of the other one. I find this one glides and works better than if I use my Maybelline with this for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> this first one. I don't know why, but it's also giving me like Corella Deville vibes. Like I feel like I'm doing like 101 Dalmatians to it. So we're gonna let that dry as well. But whilst that's drying, I think I'm going to take my Vampirism palette and I'm gonna take Lestat, that's in the corner. Not like that, not like that. And just pop that as a highlighter. Right, so whilst that is all dry, I'm gonna move on to the face. So I just like to use now for like my everyday, I'm using the, the Rimmel London Match Perfect, which is actually, it does match quite well. But usually like if I'm going out, then I've got my Dior. But you know, if I'm doing like content creating, you can't just be putting Dior on your face every day. Your girl is not rich to be wearing Dior just to take Dior off. So I've got this cheaper foundation for my everyday makeup. But if Ryan's taking me on a date, then I'll then I'm putting on the deal. <laughs> then I'm putting on the deal. Look look at this. Look look at this man. Look at this. Where is that edge control brush? You know when you see things randomly dotted around the house but you can't remember where because it turns into where's bloody Wally? It's like that. I've seen it somewhere. Where did I saw it? Oh my god, I don't even know how to speak. I saw it somewhere. Where did I see it? Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. Honestly, I'm like chaotically organized. That's the best way to describe me. Chaotically organized. I'll get everything that I need done, but it's chaos until then. Absolute chaos. So I'm just um, going back in just to hide more of the, I don't know, is it hyperpigmentation it's called? But I have that all over my face. Not too bad. It was used to be worse when I was younger, but it's just like, darker patches is that what it's called type of pigmentation if it's like a darker patch i actually don't know anything about skincare i just like exfoliate my face and make sure i take my makeup off every day like that's <laughs> that's literally all i do i don't have a routine i probably should start but i keep saying that i'm just the biggest procrastinator so just taking my la girl concealer again and we're gonna go into here try not to mess that up down my nose skin bow head I'm just gonna blend that out. Okay, so now the concealer's in. I'm just gonna set it with some powder. There's some old ass powder, and I need some. I honestly need some new. One. But I just never know which one to get because this is like the banana powder, which I know. I know the girl is using is back in like 2012. But like, I just have no idea what to use. I feel like people. I've heard people say like some like translucent powder or something. So I might have to look into this. I need to look at some tutorials for dark skin girly, see what they're wearing. Because I ain't got a clue. <laughs> but then I do actually take my other LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the colour Mahogany. So the colours I've actually got is Mahogany, Fawn and Cool Tan. They're the ones I use for like my under eyes and my eyebrows. And then obviously the darker one for trying to contour. But this goes so far. I don't really like to use too much. So I'm just going to take this and just pat that out slightly. Pat that out slightly there. Did I put some on my chin? Did I actually put powder on my chin at my forehead? Because I don't remember. No harm in doubling up if I didn't. I only like to do that just a little bit just to take the excess off because so much comes out. And thing squelches. Right, then I go in with me other brush this brush 
but we don't want you over here so now i'm going to need my concealer back honestly concealer is a life center it's like basically hitting control alt delete reset start that again and i am not afraid to put liquid back over powder darling told you it's chaos over here it's chaos cool so we are somewhat contoured then i prefer to just use this mac blush as my main contour because it's like a deep deep purpley color purple burgundy <laughs> And I usually just go over that line. That's why I don't put too much skeezer you know, over here. I just go in like that. Like that. Right, so I'm just going to pop my powder on. So we're going to come back in with Lestat. And I'm just going to pop that onto my nose. I do love a bold highlight on my nose like this. Now what I want to do is line my lower lashes lashes my lower lid on the other side this is where we are now i'm just gonna take some mascara okay it just replied back to ryan so <laughs> I just had to take my phone down so if there's a weird cut that is why lashes and lipstick and we're done so i'm going in with these you can see that that's a bit better there these black and white lashes i got these from shein and it was like one pound something and honestly they're actually quite nice lashes but yeah the next set of these that i want to buy why am i holding it that way the next set of these i want to buy is the purple ones I actually need to get on there so it's literally in my basket I have I got pink blue I just want all the colors because I just want all the colors because Satan knows what color my hair is going to be next so just be prepared in it okay so my lashes are on now and I'm just going to pop on some lipstick these are the colors I've got got them from Killstar I don't know if you saw one of my previous videos where I did some swatches for them so if you haven't already please go check that out just so you can see what they look like but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm going to go with black on the outside and Psychic Poem on the inside. All right, so we're going to start with Killstar's Gin on the inside. Inside, on the outside. Just going to use that to line the edges. Oh, so we're looking a little bit crazy right now. <laughs> So we're just going to take the Psychic Poem and put that in the middle. This is the reason why I got this one, just so that it could do an ombre, because I kind of thought I looked a bit wild with it on its own, so we're just going to pop that in the middle, because I think it looks better that way. Just like that. And then I like to just take my concealer brush and wipe off any excess. Ooh. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm just going to go changed into my little outfit that I have and then we'll come back for the final look. So guys, this is the finished look. So I've got my cow print top on that I got from Shein and that's what inspired this look today. So let's get a close up. So that's the end of the video i really hope you guys enjoyed this look let me know what you think in the comment section below i'm kind of i'm kind of feeling it kind of feeling it if you haven't subscribed already or if you haven't liked the video please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't stay alternative and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys